Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series. So what we have done till now is very simple, if I go, go back to my postman and if I send a URL, so in fact first of all let, let me just run this application, so I will say run, so go back to the postman and here I would say localhost colon 8080 slash aliens. Now when I request for aliens, you got all the aliens the, which are there in the database, right? In fact, whatever aliens we have added in the last session, now since we are relaunching the application, it you will lose all the data because we are using in-memory database. Of course, you can use external database like MySQL or Postgres, but as of now, this is working perfectly. Now, get is working, post is working. So we were able to send data, we were able to fetch data. What about updating? What about deleting? So let's try deleting first. So I want to delete this data, which is let's say 104 Komal Java. I want to delete this data. Now to delete a data, of course you will be selecting a delete operation. So you want to delete an op, delete a uh, op data there. And then here you will also mention the ID. So I will say alien slash, I want to delete 104. So you have to provide your primary key or whatever you feel which is unique, of course, right? Normally it is always a primary key. So when you say 104, that means you are deleting a record which is which has an ID as 104. And the moment I click on send, you will get an error. Where is that? There is no error. Oh, it's it says okay. That's weird. Let's verify. Let's verify by going to the browser. And as usual, we'll be using our H2 console to verify that. And I will be I'll be finding a query here. Okay, so you can see data is still there and it is not getting deleted. So if, if you are getting data, it should be deleting, right? So it's not working. So delete operation is not working properly. So let me just try once again. I don't know what went wrong there. I'll click on send. Okay, you're not getting any error, but it is not working, right? Now, in order to perform a delete operation on the server side, there should be a, a mapping, right? We don't have any mapping here. So what I will do is I will create another mapping. So I would say public. I will return an alien and I will not name this method as delete alien. Now while you are accepting, you will accept uh, a ID and that will be path variable for you. And here I want to return an alien, but from where you will get the alien? Of course from using a get method, right? So first you have to check, do we have that method before deleting? So I would say repo dot. So first let's, let's fetch the object, right? So if I pass a ID here, we will get that particular alien, right? So I would say alien a is equal to, so we are getting a reference of that and let's at the end return that as well. And then here we'll perform a delete operation because see, of course we have to return, right? So we will let a user know what is getting deleted. We will, we want to delete it, right? So we'll say repo dot, there is a method which is called delete in which you have to pass the object. So you have to pass the alien object, okay? So we are passing that. So you can see we have a alien A and we are passing A here. We are returning the same alien. Okay, now what should be the mapping? Should I use request? Of course not, right? Request is for, in request you have to mention whatever method you are working with. Should I use get mapping? No, that is for get. And you guessed it, right? We will be using a delete mapping. And in this you will mention whenever the request comes for alien. Now look at this, you know, we have delete where we have the, uh, in fact, this method, it has a URL alien. This is also alien and this is also alien. The difference is the type of request we are working with. So this is delete, this is get, and this is this, I mean, this is get, and this is also get, but then this is post. So what is missing here? So we have to say a ID, right? We have to mention that which, uh, which ID you want to delete, right? So that was a mistake. So let's relaunch it. So we learn from our mistakes, right? Okay, let's go back to the postman and now click on send. Oh, we got an error. It says, so I guess what is going wrong here is, now since we are deleting the data, of course the object will vanish, right? And when you are saying you have this A here, this is still in a persistent state. And that's why when you when you try to delete that data, it is, it is lost, right? And once you have lost the data, how can you return that? I guess that's the issue. Again, we'll do more research on this later, but this is what we are facing now. So time in what I will return is, I will say, uh, delete it, that's it. And here we'll say string, so that you know, at least we'll get some response. So relaunch it, and I will go back to my browser just to verify whatever we have done is working. And I will click on send. Oh, it's working, we got deleted. So we are here in the browser, let me just copy this query and run and run and you can see we have we don't have that 104 now 
So that was the issue. Once the object gets deleted, you cannot access it, right? Because it, it, it was in the persistent state. So that was my bad. So this is how we work with a delete method. What about, uh, what about update? How do you update data? Now in that case, I will go back to my uh, go back to my postman. In case of update, what you do is we use a put method. Now, when you say put, it simply means you want to update the existing data and you can also create a new resource. Okay. So in post, we only create a resource and put, we have a choice. If the data is available, it will get updated. And if the data is not available, it will be getting created. Now, in that case, I will go back to the broad body. First of all, I want to fetch some dummy data. I will fetch 105 because I'm lazy. So I will just copy this and I want to update the same data. So I will say put, go back to the body and I will paste it here. Now the data which I want to update is Rafik has moved from Android to iOS and we are sending a JSON request. Okay, that should work. The moment I click on submit, okay, we got the same response, but is it updated on the server? You can see no, on the, from the server we are getting Android, okay? So it's not working. So we, 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 are, we don't have a method there, right? So I will go back to my STS and here I will create another method for update. And this would be put mapping and we'll say path is equal to slash alien, the same stuff. But this time we will be accepting the object, right? It is same as post, you know? So what we can also do is we can simply copy this code as it is because this is what you're going to do and paste for put. The only change you'll be doing is the method type, which is from post to put. And here, instead of saying add alien, we'll say update alien. Or maybe we can say, we can say this is save or update alien because if it is there, it will be updated. If it is not there, it will create a new alien and we'll say save alien and return alien. Let's verify if it is working. So what I will do is I will relaunch the application. So put basically means update, okay? So it is create or update. Once we have done that, go back to the browser or go back to the postman. We are not supposed to pass 105, right? It, it is supposed to be localhost colon 8080 slash alien because we are not passing any ID. Okay, so that's the only thing you have to consider. So if I run this code, you can see we got updated value, which is iOS and now if I go back to database just to verify, let's fire the query and you can see that we got Rafik as iOS developer. So that's how we can update. And what if you don't have a resource? Let's say if I, if I will go for a put, I will go for a put here and then we'll create a new, new data. Let's say again Priya because we don't have Priya in the database now. So I will say ML and click on send. You can see it works. We got the response. And if I go back to the database just to verify Priya is there right? So it is save or update and that's how you use put. So that's it. We have worked with get, post, put and delete, right? Okay. Now I just have one thing. Now let's think about it. What we are trying to do here is we are creating a rest application, which can do cut operations. Now, what if I make this work more easy? I mean, think about this controller. If you look at this controller, it is doing nothing, right? It is simply accepting the request and calling the methods. That's it. Now, don't you think if you have a controller, which is only accepting the request and calling the methods, we don't even need this controller. What if the request is directly getting accepted by this repository? That would be awesome, right? As a developer, you don't even have to create this entire file. Just imagine. Now I know you'll be saying it's impossible, but wait in the next video, we will, I will show you how do we do that? In fact, uh, let me just reveal uh, the surprise. The method, the, the concept name is Spring Data Rest. So in Spring Data Rest, we don't have to use MVC. That means we don't have to use a controller. And that will be awesome. So wait for the next video. I hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Bye-bye.